there are particular attacks out there, particular types of uh, hacking attempts and other sort of stuff that are only focused on servers. So servers is a reminder they provide a service as they sound. So if you imagine your computer at home um, there and it's going to request a, a website, it requests the website from a server. And this makes the server vulnerable to various different types of attack. So there's your server there and it will get the request that you're sending and it will send a response uh, to you. So that might be your web page, for example. So let's cover the first one that we need to need to worry about because this server here can be a web server, but it can also be a database server and it can also be a combination of the two actually, most likely a combination of the two. And there's a particular attack that you can run against database servers we're going to cover, which is called SQL injection. Now have a look at the video about SQL if you're not sure about it, because there's a particular kind of attack you can run against database called SQL injection. And what this is, is putting a little bit of code into a, a web form somewhere um, and making, giving yourself access to the database, which you shouldn't be allowed to have. And I can demonstrate here on the right in the, in the, in the worst website. If I type in my username there um, and then I type in my password, but look at my password. I can tell you my password is not this. It, I'm going to put one, double equals one and an apostrophe in front of it. That is a special SQL statement. All right, I'm going to hit login and it's let me in, even though it shouldn't do because that is not my password. And the reason why is what I typed into the password here. It's got an apostrophe in it and then some sort of a special characters. And that has given me access to database that I shouldn't have. So there's a few ways to protect against SQL ejection. Um, obviously, from the, if you've watched the defensive design uh, video, the first sort of thing to look at is this thing called input sanitization. But checking that you are not vulnerable to attacks like SQL injection and other um, simple attacks against servers can all be done through this thing called penetration testing. Now, what tends to happen for penetration testing is that well, it's often not for yourself. It's usually like a separate team or maybe even a separate company. Come and take the software that you have built, so the server you've created perhaps, um, and they see if they can hack it. Uh, if they see if they can do things like this, like run SQL commands where they shouldn't be able to, um, and other various things, bits and pieces as well against the server. And if they can, they will let you know, so they won't actually cause any damage, but they will let you know that you are vulnerable. So penetration testing is a good way to, to protect against SQL injection attacks, as is having good uh, input sanitization. Okay, so that is uh, one particular type of attack against the server, but there's another one which, which particularly gets servers as well, and that is called a denial of service of task attack. Now, if you think of this, this particular problem, let's say you have a friend, okay, and he has got, a, or he or she has got a mobile phone, um, and you say that if, if another friend can manage to call your friend on their mobile phone, um, then you will give them, I don't know, five or, five or ten pounds or something like that, you know, big money, something like that. Um, how could you stop that from happening? How could you treat that as a game to stop that from happening? Well, what you could do is that you could get hold of several mobile phones or get loads of people um, who have got their own mobile phones to all call your friend. And so you, you, as a consequence of that, this person never ever gets through. That is kind of like a denial of service attack. So what I can do instead is have a computer send hundreds, if not thousands of requests to a web server, and that will prevent genuine people from me being able to access that server. And that is called a denial of service attack. One way to prevent against that is to use a firewall. So we have like this firewall here, and that will block any attempts to try and contact a web server from people who are just trying to yeah, tie it up or, uh, or cause it damage in some way. So SQL injection and denial and service attacks are two things we have to worry about for servers. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.